Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to add theme switcher with Svelte and Daisy Way. Let's begin by creating a folder. I'll name it Daisy Svelte since we are going to use the Daisy Way and the Svelte. I typically open the terminal from the project folder. On Mac OS, I have to press and hold the control key and click on the folder. Then select open terminal from the options. For Windows users, you guys can simply right click in any inside any folder and choose open terminal or open command prompt. Okay, I have already collected all the required commands in my blog post for this tutorial. Let me just copy the first command. Uh, our first command is npm creates belt at latest. Now let's move to the terminal, right click and paste the command. Let's hit enter to execute the command. We'll proceed with the default project name. You don't have to type anything, just press enter. I don't need the demo app or the library project. So let's select skeleton project. We don't want TypeScript, but we do need ESLint and Prettier. We also don't need to try out Svelte 5. Our Svelte project is now installed. Now we need to install the node modules. For that, just run npm i. This may take some time depending on your internet connection. With the project installed, you can check by running one more command which is npm run dev dash dash space dash dash host. Now open the link. You can see our project is working. visit my website again. Next we need to install Tailwind CSS. Copy the code and go back to the terminal. Since our project is live from this terminal window, we should open a new window. To do this simply press new tab and then new tab with profiler. You can notice that both terminal windows have the same project directory. Keep in mind this is very important. Right click and paste. Hit enter to install Tailwind. The installation is complete. Now we need to run npmi again. Run npm run dev again. Now you can see uh, our project is updated. You will notice the font size is updated too because Tailwind is now working. The next step is to install DaisyY. For that, run npmi DaisyY. If you check the website now, you will see nothing has changed because we need to configure DaisyY first. Up to this point, we haven't written a single line of code. So simply drag the project folder to the VS Code. Open the Tailwind config.cjs file. Add the following to the plugin array, which is required Daisy Y. Now when you check the website, you will see the changes. The background is now dark because Daisy Y uses the system default theme. And in my case, my default theme is dark. Let's open app.html and add data hyphen theme equal to light. This will be our default theme. Now let's visit the site again and you can see the background has changed to light. Using the same method, you can change light to dark too. Now how can we let the user control the theme? If you visit the Daisyware website, you will find a section called theme controller. You can simply copy the code and paste it into any Svelte file in the VS Code. We must change the value too. Since we have changed our default value to dark, let's change it to light. Save the file, go back to our live view and reload the page. You will see the theme switcher is now working. Now how can we switch to other themes of DaisyY instead of just light or dark theme? 
For that, we need to write some more code. First, let's visit the DaisyY website again. You can see there is a section called config. You will find configuration code for controlling DaisyY plugin. Copy the code, go back to VS Code and open tailwind.config.cjs. Add a comma after plugin array, then paste the code which is copied. Now if you take a look at here, the themes value is false. If you read the comments carefully, you can understand that the setting the themes value to false allows only light and dark theme. To activate all theme of Daisy Y, change the value to true. This will activate all the themes in our current project. Now let's check all the available themes of Daisy Y. Here you can see a list of pre-configured theme of Daisy Y. For demonstration, we can let the user change the theme to forest using our theme switcher. Open VS Code. Since we have configured Daisy White to have all the themes, logically we can switch from dark theme to forest theme by just simply changing the value to forest. Now go to your browser and you will see our theme switcher is now working. That's all for today. Thank you.